Hey guys, Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota in downtown Nashville with your Toyota trim level series. I am master certified in everything Toyota. I am a sales society winner with Toyota, a product trainer and a mentor here at Beeman. So I definitely know my product. Uh, I wanted to show you guys here, definitely apologize for the hoarseness in my voice here. Uh, just getting over a cold. So, um, I wanted to show you the TRD off-road uh, version of the 2020 4Runner. Uh, definitely a great, great vehicle. 4Runner's been great for a long time, but uh, you know they're just adding things to it to make it even better. They have a, re a refresh that they've done for the 2020 year, giving it some uh, additional options. Um, so definitely want to show you. Now something you know that uh, while I'm back here, the indicative of the off-road is you're going to have this gray right here. Um, that gray that is on uh, the back bumper there, that's something that shows you the uh, off-road. You're also going to have a matching uh, gray on the front, or sorry, silver, whatever you want to call it. But you're also going to have that matching on the front. Um, that is the same across the line. If you have a silver one, you won't notice it because it's going to match the color. Uh, but any other color, blacks, your reds, anything else, it's going to have that on there. So I'm uh, showing you the front here. One of the things you're going to notice is that it has the hood scoop on the front. That's something that they started doing with the off-road. Um, the off-road was a takeoff of the trail. So um, the the 19 is when they started the off-road. Um, it was called the trail before there, and then the trail premium. So um, this one's an offered premium um, but uh, just so you know it was uh, um, if you're looking for the older model like an 18 it was the trail um, you have your safety sense is right here and I'll post a link on there to show you a little bit more about what the safety sense is um, just kind of showing you you have two different wheel options on your off-road um, this is the standard wheel option um, the other wheel option is gonna actually have a, um, a gray matte wheel to it um, so that's uh, a different option. You also have your smart key here. Um, so you can put your smart, uh, you can lock and unlock your door just by touching and then put your door on the back or into your hand back here and you can open the door. You'll see you have your uh, power seat and lumbar, your red stitching throughout. This is your leather soft text uh, seating as well. You have your TRD emblem in your headrest. You also have your carbon fiber uh, center console here, which actually is really nice. So um, I also want to show you this is something indicative of Like I said the trail before this and now the off-road and the pro Instead of having the dial for your four-wheel drive. They will have the stick to go into your four-wheel drive So uh, there are some people that prefer that this is one of the ones that you get it on your off-road your off-road premium and your pro You will get that on so I'm um, gonna kind of come in here and kind of Shut the door here to eliminate some of the noise that's behind us. One of the quietest cars out there is uh, always the Toyota. So um, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to go ahead and start it here so we can kind of get some more uh, some more going here. You're going to be able to see up top. If I can kind of get focused in on here. You have your crawl control and you also have your suspension adjustments that are up front here. Um, that is something that's really cool on, on this particular version. It's only available on the um, the off-road and the pro again. So um, you're gonna see a lot of things that mimic the each other when you talk about the off-road and the pro. So uh, suspension is a little bit different on the pro, a couple different uh, nuances on the pro, but um, definitely you're gonna see that. Um, one thing that I've had people ask a lot, do you have a sunroof? Yes, you have a sunroof on your off-road premium. You definitely have a sunroof. Um, SOS button, which is right there. So you have your SOS button, you hit that button, you can call for help uh, if you need a spare tire uh, changed, if you uh, um, have anything that's uh, uh, wrong with the vehicle or wrong with yourself, you can definitely make that uh, call. 17-inch uh, alloy wheels, of course, on the uh, on the outside, I've already showed you those. So um, now, now what I wanna show you here, I'm going to show you the dash. The dash has been completely redesigned in all of the 4Runners for 2020. It definitely looks a lot better in my opinion. It's a little more clean than what the old one looked like, um, but it definitely keeps with what you want from a 4Runner, of course. Um, so now you're also going to see that this one's got standard premium audio. Now what does your premium audio mean? Premium audio means you have an integrated map. Um, so your map also has your uh, uh, dynamic navigation, means it's going to update for you. Um, Sirius XM is standard, of course, and Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are standard in the 2024 runner. So uh, 2024 runner standard with Apple, uh, and I will tell you, 
that you have to plug it into that USB port to get your Apple Maps and, and your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto to work. Android Auto, you need to download the app, of course, for Android Auto and go through the steps that you see on there. Um, this is a 8-inch screen, if I haven't already mentioned that, 8-inch screen. Um, you also have your push-button start, that's standard, uh, just so you know, while I'm kind of in the same area. But 8-inch screen, you can. I, I have uh, additional videos that I'll post on, uh, or that I have posted on how to use this particular map system. Um, this is your Intune 3.0 map integrated navigation map so um, I definitely have uh, some of those posted and I'll link those up for you as well so I'm um, kind of taking a look down here um, you'll see that you have yours uh, it's not dual climate control let's put it that way um, but uh, it's looks exactly the way that the old one did a couple of variations but it looks pretty much the same the old one did of course uh, when I say old one I mean 19 um, this one's got the TRD shift knob um, so now something else you've got in your 2020, you have all of your Toyota safety sense. Um, now I will say that your safety sense, the one thing that's different on safety sense in the forerunner is that the, um, you don't have the lane departure assist. So you have lane departure warning, but you don't have the assist. So it won't assist your steering wheel just because the type of steering that's on here. It won't assist the steering wheel to get you back in your lane, but it will definitely um, help you to stay a little bit safer. All of your radar cruise control, stuff like that, you have all of that. It's just not the assist. So kind of taking a look at the inside here, you can see how your, uh, your seats look, the TRD, you can kind of look back. Now, I will tell you something else, is that you can't get this particular vehicle with a third row. Um, the Pro and the uh, Off-Road series are never offered with the third row. So if you have the question, I want that with the third row, the answer is no, you cannot get that way. Um, none of the foreigners are offered with a power up, power down tailgate. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you some of the stuff in the back. Um, but just trying to give answer some of those questions that people ask a lot. So... All right, so now if you look at the back here, I'm going to show you your seats are a little bit different than what they are on most Toyotas. In order to fold it down, you have this right here, and you pull this, and you pull this forward. Um, like I said, most Toyotas, they do it a little bit different, but you also have this button right here. Once you hit this, and actually let me show you this real fast, that'll fold you down here. And depending on where your driver's seat is, which I've got this pushed back a little bit far, but you can see that that would fold down into here, just depending on where your driver's seat is. Um, once you get it down, you can actually move that driver's seat back a little bit further. So um, if that's what you're looking to do, you can do that. Your center console is here as well, where you can have your drinks. Um, if you let people have drinks in your car, I do want to show you as well, you have your USB ports back here, two USB ports, two vents. So you can do what you want to with those, of course. Uh, that way somebody's not running a cord from the front to the back to get to the back of the uh, of the vehicle, of course. Oh, and before I open this, I wanna show you one other thing that's new here. Since you have a push button start, you also have your up and down on your uh, for your rear window. You still do have your roll up, roll down rear window on all of your forerunners. Now you'll notice without that third row seat, you definitely have a lot more room back here. On um, that module, if you did have a third row seat on one, it takes about four inches away. Like I said, it is not available on this particular one. But uh, I apologize for the ambulance in the back there. We are downtown Nashville, like I say often, so it can uh, definitely happen. You have your power port back here. Um, so two plugs, so your cigarette lighter style plug and your regular uh, inverter outlet that is right there. So you can kind of take a look from the back here and see. You also have the ability with that right there, you can actually lift that and fold down the center area there um, if that's what you'd uh, prefer to do. Like I said, no power up, power down tailgate. You have your little handles here. So if you're a little bit shorter, that helps you. You also have backup camera that's standard on all of your forerunners um and pretty much all of your toyotas actually i don't think there's one that does not have a backup camera i was going to go to this side here and show you a little bit easier on and this is your 60 40 split but i was going to show you a little bit easier on how that folds down so if you have your seat and you know just a little bit closer and it's not lean back like i had it there you actually are able to fold that down pretty easily pretty quickly um so definitely um now i did want to show you one other thing here Oop, that are rest there but one other thing here is if you look you can see this right here that is actually the recline 
for your back seat. So your back seat can recline here. So if you look here, you can see that uh, there's definitely a really good recline on it, kind of back up here. Um, so depending on how you want to sit, you can recline uh, or de-recline that seat. So um, that's something that's uh, really, really comfortable on those long trips. So um, like I said, kind of taking a quick walk around here. Um, you have your, your sensor on both sides that you can lock or unlock the vehicle with on both sides. If you grab it from the passenger side, you'll unlock all doors. If you grab it from the driver's side, you'll unlock only the driver's door. So um, so we'll kind of go back. You have your skid plates on your engine and your front suspension. Kind of take a peek down here. You can kind of see uh, that your skid plates are down there. Um, and it's also on your fuel tank as well. Um, so 4.0 liter motor. Um, like I've said, that is standard 4.0 liter paired with your five-speed transmission um, and uh, part-time four-wheel drive, of course, um, with your active track. So uh, four-wheel drive is awesome on this one. Multi-terrain select with your crawl control, hill start assist control. Um, so it will actually um, hold itself slightly on a hill for you. Um, tow hitch is standard on all of them. No need to ask that question. Um, tow hitch and then your wiring is underneath on the bottom. Um, safety sense, of course, star safety systems on all of them, power sliding rear, uh, rear window, of course. Like I said, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, um, all the TV, TRD stuff that you saw. Um, the Safety Connect comes with the one-year trial. The Destination Assist comes with the one-year trial. Um, you even have Wi-Fi on this vehicle with that uh, with a three-month trial as well. So um, just kind of looking at my notes here to make sure that I haven't left anything out, of course. Um, the the moonroof was an option, of course, that you saw that this one had. Um, that is an option. It's not standard, but it is an option that you can get on this vehicle. Um, this one also had the all-weather floor liner. So um, definitely, like I said, Steve Welch, your Toyota trim level series. This is the uh, TRD Off-Road Premium 4Runner. TRD Off-Road Premium 4Runner in the 2020. Um, definitely let me know if you have any more questions about this particular vehicle. Um, the 4Runner has always been good, and uh, I know that this one's just going to kind of stay with what uh, what they've already already done for us uh, when it comes to a great vehicle. So, Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota, downtown Nashville, your Toyota trim level series with the 2020 TRD Off-Road Premium 4Runner.